Good evening folks, it's Jay Dubs here from Local Shopping and I'm going to try to give you some opportunities to save money by using Craigslist to find a used car. Most people in the United States and in Canada and even Mexico have heard of Craigslist. It's the biggest online classified website on the net. So what a lot of people must understand is when searching this specific site, there are parameters that can be set to find used cars. You can either find them by dealer, by owner, or under a certain price range. And this is important information for those looking to save as much money as possible. So I always go to Google to start out. The world's the best search engine by far. It finds everything you need. So let's say you live in Miami. Type in Craigslist Miami. And the first listing is going to be miami.craigslist.org. Go ahead and click there. You can do this for any area of the country. Just put your specific county or your city and then Craigslist or Craigslist in your city and you'll find what you're looking for. So this is the generic Craigslist page. Most people have seen this. There's a search Craigslist on the left here. There's nearby Craigslist on the right. And then there's a for sale section. Click on the cars and trucks of the for sale section and then you'll notice that there's an option to do all cars and trucks by owner only or by dealer only. I always like to go to the by owner only section. This is where some of the best prices are available and you can immediately see there's a 1998 Chevy van. It's an interesting van. A 1998 Chevy van for 2700 but there's normal cars as well on here for dirt cheap. Here's a um, 1985 GMC Jimmy for only $2,000. Uh, you know, if this car runs, that's not a bad price at all. Most people are not going to get a vehicle for, or, or especially a sport utility for $2,000 anywhere at a used car dealership. So what I want to introduce you to is this price min and max. So let's say you want a car under fifteen hundred dollars the problem with doing this if you hit search you're gonna see a lot of headlamps you're gonna see a lot of tools you're gonna see a lot of accessories you're gonna see every vehicle that doesn't have a price listed this GMC Sierra says five dollars here's a top for a Ford truck you know this is the type of stuff you don't wanna see if you're looking for an exact vehicle so I tend to put a min in at four hundred or five hundred dollars just to make certain that it is a vehicle that is showing up and now you're going to start seeing vehicles. Here's a Kia Sportage for $1,300. Looks like a, a decent vehicle. You know, the guy left a phone number to call. I'm sure it has 146,000 miles. If you're searching in low price ranges, obviously the, the mileage is going to be a little bit higher. If you're not finding what you're looking for to the home page of where you were, which is going to be the listing right beside the CL, and you'll see nearby Craigslists and you can go through the same process for all those nearby Craigslists and there's always about 20 over here you know if you're in a very populated area there's probably five or six Craigslist locations near you and this, in South Florida alone there's three there's Palm Beach County, Broward County and Dade County and that doesn't even include Fort Lauderdale, it doesn't include Fort Myers, the Keys and stuff like that if you live in Delaware or you live in a more remote part of the country like North Dakota or South Dakota, you know, you're not going to have as many Craigslist locations, but it will still offer you opportunities for nearby locations. So this is how you search Craigslist for used cars under a certain amount of money. I'm going to continue to update my playlist for Craigslist, different items to buy and sell. So if you're interested in a specific item, please comment below and I'll get to it. I'm going to go through appliances and furniture and bikes and, you know, children's clothes, everything you could buy on Craigslist, I'm going to do a help video for to help you find ways to put in different prices, find different deals, negotiate better deals, stuff like that. So make sure to like this video if you do, in fact, like it and please come back to local shopping.